We welcome in the May Show Sauce so winner Francisco Lindor. Uh, first of all, thank you so much for joining us. And you don't have the, the Show Sauce trophy with you, is that correct? I do not. They haven't presented me that, the, the trophy, so I can't wait till I get it, though. It's going to be a heck of a ceremony. Where will you display the trophy? This is what we need to know. <laughs> I will probably stay in the in the clubhouse somewhere, somewhere in the in the in my locker. Then listen, I can't probably in the top. Okay, perfect. We can't make any promises as to the quality of the sauce, so I recommend <gasps> you not opening it. <laughs> I I won't. I'm not, I won't. I'm not a hot sauce type person, so I'm more I'm more into the sweet things. Okay, well, that's perfect. Um, all right, uh, so we want to talk to you about that. We also want to talk to you about how you felt about Byron Buxton winning in the month of April. You weren't happy about that. Yeah. Uh, no, I wasn't happy. I was happy for him, but I wasn't happy because I wasn't even considering the top choices. That was the one time, I guess <laughs> it was like one day that I saw this show, and every after ever since then I said, ah, I'm not going to watch this show because this is, <laughs> is I watch stuff. Laura, I know you uh, You talked to him on a regular basis, though. Uh, once in a while. But, uh, yeah, I just wanted to know a little bit more about your new clothing line. Um, so, wait, about my new, new clothing new balance, line? Yeah, I was, the one you designed in New Balance? Yeah, yeah. So, in the off-season, um, I'm doing this. Um, I, we, we started talking about creating the clothing like I'm I love fashion I love dressing up I think it's a way of expressing myself without saying a word um, and it came in the, the off season that I wanted to do something for the whole family not just me you know I I, I love dressing up but I, I love seeing my wife seeing my daughter seeing my sister dressing up and so I'm doing a, a La Familia um, clothing line uh, with New Balance, and it's going to incorporate everybody in the family. It's going to incorporate mom, dad, and I, not the little, little ones, but it's it's yeah, got girls and boys. So uh, I'm, I'm, I'm looking forward to it. It's got the um, one of the national flowers of Puerto Rico, the hibiscus, and I have it tattooed on my on my shoulder. I have it in my cleats. Um, it's my favorite flower. And then he's got my logo. So it, I'm looking forward to it for, for it to come out. It's very comfortable too. Francisco, what's up, bro? Keith McPherson from WFAN in New York. Uh, I appreciate your on, attention to detail, your swagging from head to toe. Even right now, you got the hair, the headband, the glasses. Tell us a little bit about your different gloves and how you go about choosing which glove you're going to wear. <laughs> so the most important thing with the glove is if it's a little bit broken in. I don't care if it's brand new. I can use it for, like, I get a brand new glove and I got go out there and use it. But I need to use it in practice before. Then after that, the most important thing is, does it match the cleats? Does it match the batting gloves? Right. Does it match the uniform that day? I have probably around 15, 20 gloves with um, Rawlings. Uh, they've done an amazing job of creating different um, whether it's emojis or prints or design. Sometimes I'm walking around, I see a nice painting, I take a picture, I send it to them. I'm like, I need this on my glove. Let's let's get it in the in the glove. And they have done an amazing job of, you know, getting all my ideas and making them into reality. That, awesome. That sounds really cool. I mean, obviously you have the best drip in the clubhouse, but if there's anybody on the team that you could give a makeover, who would it be? Ooh, that's a good question. Um, Tywin Walker, <laughs> not a makeover. No, no, no. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Not a makeover. Tywin Walker. I was gonna say Tywin Walker is amazing. He dressed up really, really nice. Oh, okay. And make a makeover. Somebody that would like to change their fashion um, wardrobe. I was. I'll go with Masika. Masika is very <laughs> simple and he stays the same all the time. I would like for him to. I don't mind if you wear boots or polo or a, a bigger jeans i don't mind it you know that's your style is the way you communicate yourself but we got to start changing it up we got to start mixing it I'm, I'm a little bit like it's lululemon long pants boots or shoes and that's it we so, gotta start mixing it up so not buck show walter <laughs> Ooh, you should no no he, he not no 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 he he actually dresses up really nice when on the road that's usually when i see him dressed up on the road because uh, at home we don't get to see him much because he shows up really early and leaves really late um, on the road. I get to see his style, and he's always dressed up nice. You know, I, I like the way he dresses up. I mean, he's, he's more his age, 
but <laughs> it, it, wor it works for him. It is age appropriate there for Uncle Buck, but let's just talk about <laughs> it. A perfect world. If you could style Buck Walter for a road mm. trip in your own personal style, how would you make him look from head to toe? We need to know because we worked right, with so him as well. We love him. <laughs> yeah. All right. So we can we can start with a different haircut. You know, give, fade him a little bit on the side. Yes. Let's, let's start with the <laughs> fade in the side and make him look a little bit um, younger. Um, then we go. Um, we can give him a button-down shirt, but we can untuck it. Let's leave it a little loose. You know, we can go with like a little Saint Laurent style. Um, Ooh. No. <laughs> uh, you know, a little, a little, a little loose. We can give him, uh, and then we can go with like a. I'll go black, a black. He's a big black um, type person. So we give him a black one, maybe like a faded black one, vintage type look. Um, then we give him some um, not too baggy jeans, but slim cut. Um, but we need to get a little shorter. That way we can show a little bit of his ankles. <laughs> yes. Um, <laughs> and then... Uh, we open up the, the button down shirt a little bit so he can show a little bit of his chest. Um, and then we give him some, the I don't know what That's you call the, the 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 shoes that are, oh, that are close in the front, but they open the back, in the back kind of what I had in the in the, the um, picture. <laughs> that, that. Sean Clifford. We give him those. <laughs> yeah, we give him those. And we can give it to him since this is going to be all black. We can give it to him in velvet, like a green Ooh. velvet. Love that. I like that. I like give, that. Hey, give let's a, go. Give it, a nice, it, a it, nice it. watch. I got to ask you one real quick question. And they jump back in here unmuted. It was probably because I said you deserve to win the first uh, show sauce. But <laughs> I got to ask you. They muted you. They muted you, you. They heard you were saying that. <laughs> yes. What did you buy when you first got that contract from the Mets? What's the first thing you got? Oof. Um... What was the first thing I got? Um, I got a watch. I'm a big yeah. watch person. So I got Ooh. myself a nice watch. Ooh, I, I can't wait that. to see said watch uh, when we come visit you sometime <laughs> at City Field. Francisco, we thank you so yeah. much for your time and congratulations on becoming the second ever show sauce <laughs> winner. I can't wait to see that bottle of sauce proudly displayed in your locker. <laughs> All right, thank you guys so much and finally considering me for the show. <laughs> <laughs> Best guest ever. We'll have to have you back on. Thanks, my friend.